Welcome back, if you're not friends. We just got amazing support and amazing defenders. Now, with the new Rescue Ace cards, we have Warrior Hand Drops that let us summon bricks from the deck, and then this big brick can let us set four bricks, and then... No, no, of course, we are not talking about that. I hope they get better, but right now we have something else to focus on. Mikanko. That's right. You probably already know this, but I want to show you my take on Mikanko if Noble. Mixed together. And um, before we start talking about um, combos or deck profiles or ratios, first you need to see the potential and why is this so good. Like, not just um, ideas, not just in theory, but put it in into work. On four replays, first we have a rogue, then a pseudo mirror, then almost meta and meta. Okay, I don't want to see the names, so we can um, see them at the proper time. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Let's begin. So first replay is right here, and as you can see, uh, we lost this ice roll. And uh, like I told you, this is rogue, super rogue. <coughs> Probably not even rogue. Is math mech, pure math mech. Yeah, I mean, what else can they do? I mean, what good can they do? You know? Let's see. Just fast forward the replay. They do the standard circular shenanigans. And ah, let's focus on our hand. We have connector, good. Tactics, good. Arabesque, Mikanko, which if you don't know, you will learn that it's super good. And Heritage should be not, so. Oh no, just Engine and TTT. Oh, okay. But uh, who needs hand drop when we can do a lot? The sixth card is a second Renault, so not so useful. But it gives us an edge against this board. So, what do they have? As far as we know, they draw two of Hit Soul, they search um, this as a follow up, which means they already had the trap. And if you really know Mad Mech, that means they already have both traps, because some some of the uh, some of the least plays besides Super Factorial, the other one as a Plan B. But they search follow up, so they for sure had those two. So I was pretty sure I was I was facing this uh, Super Factorial. If you don't know what it does, it's like a revolt. But the guy that they summon um, has three effects. They could send uh, to graveyard uh, a card from hand, a monster, and a back row, and then. Because it's gonna have a mad mech um, the diameter attached to it, it has also a soft omni negate like Savage. So it's pretty insane, it's like 4 interruptions in one card, up to 4. Then they have this that is just a pop and build, and I think they haven't drawn yet. So it's uh, like at least 4, 5, 6 interruptions, depending how he uses. So we start with Connector, our game plan is make it still life, and then uh, try to bait him, summon the, that guy. So we can use Arabesque. Arabesque is insane. It's like, imagine Durendal, but better. <laughs> Going second at least. Because Durendal search, this summon from deck. Uh, a Fire Warrior that has that also an effect that pluses, like a Renault. Uh, but this uh, has a cost, pseudo cost. The cost is to bounce a monster. If we are going first, we have to bounce something that we have. Unless the opponent hand traps with a monster on board. But when we are going second, it's, it's a board breaker. We just bounce an opponent's monster, doesn't destroy it. It does target. So, yeah. Uh, we start with Connector. Let's see if he does something. He doesn't. At this point, we are threatening to destroy the bell almost for free. I mean, we could have used it because we, we, against, against Mad Meg, we expect hand drops. But he didn't Ash or Veiler this, so um, maybe we don't. Because we know that monster and um, this card's a random card of our hand. So if we have double Renault, we have more chances of they discarding something we don't care. So yeah, we probably don't use that thing. But anyway, he takes the bait and draw right now. Draw another hand drop. Man, how is this possible? So now he has up to seven interruptions. He activated the trap because he doesn't want to risk losing one hand drop and we getting knowledge of the other hand drop. It makes sense. So now he summons the monsters and then he discards we are begging that he discard Renat and he does. Yeah. So now we are only facing one, two, three, four interruptions. It's still big. We have five cards. Uh, what should we do now? Well, now that this is life, we need to bait the Omni Negate. We could bait it with something else and then use this to take, but we don't get any value of having this on our side of the field. Maybe a Zeus play, but who needs Zeus when we want to win that turn? So. Um, yeah, we made the Omni Negate. Now we use Arabesque to bounce and summon. And we could also bounce hit, so, but we have another plan. So we'd rather bounce Laplacian. 
Oh, it didn't work because that guy had this this card um, to pop it. He popped it on declaration, which is really good for us. Now we can use um, Durendal to get Lady, just to get Renaud because Renaud could recover that equip. Yeah, that's the idea. Now he was really smart because he saved the bell for the connector, um, which let us um, neck one. It's unfortunate. Now we're just going to salt and he saw the follow up summons what what do we summon ah another connector <laughs> no no we should summon Oggy for more attack because right now we're just going for game you know like because we're going to steal the link tree so let's see mm. oh yeah yeah i mean if he didn't want us want, if he didn't let us take that back it wouldn't matter too much um also here um yeah we try to mill uh, well, another gear fit again doesn't really matter. We didn't even we didn't even use it to get a Phoenix Blade effect. This is the important part. Our best bouncing, then this grabbing the steel. So now we steal that monster, and then with these two we just make access code and go for game because he does he doesn't have a K he has less. So yeah, I don't think all gear matter too much mm, because at the end of the day, connector he's for 800 then. Summons, uh, oh no, I cannot summon uh, that thing again. It's once per turn. But yeah, anyway, that was game. Because access, easy access code, that's the main part. Uh, so yeah, that was against six interruptions. He pretty much like truck pop, uh, discard, destroy dolphin, send dolphin, sorry, bell, um, maester he didn't use, but he could, in, maybe in another moment, and something else. Ah, and the negate of the XYZ. Yeah. Now he's gonna try to perform the combo again. We only opened Bankratops and here we will just start to learn in the deck. Because it turns out that when we go second, we should side out Nini. It does nothing. Uh, but yeah, we didn't know. So that's another card that could have been an non engine. Or could have been a better engine card. Maybe a Nord Arabesque. He, he used the effect on his turn and this card is man, he's a sniper. I mean, not seriously, but. How lucky, because <laughs> Pankrato was going to put a lot of work. Now we only have engine cards. Let's see. So now he ends on again the same traps and Maester Need. Need is putting a lot, is putting a lot of work. Especially if we don't have Gearfit access. I think we tried to get Gearfit. Yeah, we tried. Mm, yeah, he let it happen. So at this point we are good. Depends on what he discard though. What is he gonna discard now? Show me. Durand ah, he didn't discard Nini, <laughs> that's what we wanted. Well, now he's getting a draw. We we use this to summon the Nini, so it's not entirely a break, but still, we write a different card. We use him to go into Herald, so we can summon Gifted because we know this could negate uh, Gifted. And now we just Herald negate that. I think at this point we forgot Herald could search Ohime, that's a, a, a big misplay. But still, it doesn't matter because he just needs right now, and and he is not doing nothing. He's doing nothing by itself, so that's just game. I think we should just go for the next game. Yeah, wait, wait. Now game three. Let's see what happens. The guy opens Imperm Dark Ruler. Insane combination. We have uh, a lot of Mikanko. Yeah, the ritual. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it's basically a roadmap for any Mikanko card, even Spellar or Traps, and then you just discard. So if you wanna use something else, you, you can just discard this 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 card, Ohime. But there is a cute combo where you search the quick play that someone into um, ignoring conditions, and then you manage it from graveyard to mill something again any mechanical kind of card, and then this can equip. So this can get a value when this equip arabesque or Durendal. So most of the time, if you start with this, you equip arabesque. Um, and yeah. In the opponent's turn, this can be an interruption by equipping Rondo, that's the Snatch Steel card, into an opponent's monster. So, when we use this as a starter, sometimes this doesn't uh, stick to the end board, we gotta bounce it back or something, or use it as material for sure. So in this case, because we already had this, this was just a Rora, we search this and discard the useless Rondo. Rondo is useful in the graveyard, in the opponent's turn, or going second, or if the opponent summons a monster. Anyway, so we used Hari and equip something. Now Hari has this cool effect where it's like a Renault search 
I mean, Renault recovers this search, so this could be better. Um, this search is just a mechanical equip, 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 so it doesn't have four targets, but most of the people only really care about two, Arabesque or the Monster Reborn. Uh, we're getting Arabesque. Sorry if I mispronunciation. Uh, if I cannot spell correctly, Arabesque. Who cares? Now we use um, Durenda to get Renaud. Now Renaud to get follow up. Free Durenda. He's all. He's letting this go. I think he didn't saw any Ignite and in the entire duel. <laughs> you as well, probably. So yeah, we are playing Ignis Ignite uh, because this, this has some cool, insane interaction. Like, you can summon Ignis and then Arabesque bounce Ignis back, and then you already have the combo. Or you can use Arabesque to bounce anything and then pen summon it right away from the hand. Mm, yeah, cool interactions for sure. And that's not it, there is a better interaction. So the imprint is also second effect, that's, that hurts a lot. Because right now, this is just Ohim's follow up, Durandal is follow up, Holba is doing nothing. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, this is not follow up. It usually is, but right now we didn't use it uh, before. So we can extend. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 we could extend, but like I told you, this only helps uh, attaching Durandal or Arabesque, and we already utilize those equips, so summoning this right now doesn't make sense. Uh, you would do it if you want to put a Rondo in graveyard, but we already did. And if we didn't open it, it could have mill it. So why summon it this right now when we could just... It's a quickly. We summon it at the right moment. You know, controlling the tempo. So now it just makes sense to summon Nini, uh, even though it means bouncing back is old. So right now, this looks um, not so strong, but it's three interruptions still. So we have this that steals, this that steals, and Colby. And follow up in the form of Durendal, that could be Ignis or Renaud, a Fire Warrior. And if this sticks to the end board, the next turn this can equip again one of these two and get, get the engine rolling. So we're facing Dark Ruler and Ash and Engine. So he, his hand was pretty nice, like 3 going second card, 3 good engine cards. And let's see what's gonna happen at the end. So. He summons, this, he summons this, we take it immediately. Now we set up the second take. At this point, he realized he should have used the ruler. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's the same. Because this take is this take, so this takes now. Now, right now, we take advantage of something cool that he has a free summon here. This is probably the best target for Coldplay, so we just use it right now. Uh, and that let us, and that let us chain also him. Now, he may, may not put an interruption, but get a follow up because it can put Durendal and we have Renault in graveyard just in case. So, yeah, that's what happens. Um, so, we put this on Ohime because it's the monster we don't want the opponent to out. So, that, that way we always get value. If he out this, we trigger this. Now, he uses this. I think he should have gone for a Zeus place, but he doesn't. Oh, I think he's locked on Cybers, that's why. Hmm. Here he forgot he could only attack one time because of his own monster, Circular. We take advantage of that. And then uh, I think we have a lot of setup to, to win a storm. Oh no, he's making a free draw and then Axe Scott and he drawing into an interruption. So now he destroys the board and have Ash Imperm. That's interesting. But again, we have follow up. And I think it's a good follow-up. So <laughs> we draw villas. <laughs> this would have been so good next turn. I mean last turn. So that's the combo. Ignis Ignite can get uh, any any fields search. And we can search village because this is spellcaster that they are not going to out because this uh, survives um, battles. Also, if they put a spellcaster, this takes it, so they no longer have a spellcaster, so they are out of spells again. So it's an insane interaction, insane. Um, you could argue to put this on the side if you want. I rather main deck it so we can FTK like we want to. Now, yeah, we just win. We have three engine cards, so we should use them. Uh, okay, Ash and that, no problem. And that's why it felt so bad we didn't have another target for this to, to get a free search. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should be playing the third Arabes. But right now, um, uh, we just needed the salt. 
Now here he let he let us search because he's afraid of we can uh, we having an extender and then making another salt because we we didn't have I mean we have the second result. Uh, he probably should have just imprint right, right away. Anyway, so now we just beat this in parallel. It, it means our Durendal doing nothing. But I, I mean, we equip Durendal to that because we were like, okay, if we if we get stopped, you try to combo, you use that, you use circular as material, so Durendal triggers. That was the idea. But probably we we should have just put it to access code because of this interaction. Doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Cause then access code pop to render, and then attack to result. Yeah, doesn't doesn't matter. And now, even if he imperm result a first effect <laughs> without like a second gear fit, because yeah, we are maxing on gear fit. It's so crazy that we can do it and get away with it. And then we just game. If we are in a grinding situation and we have gear fits, we are winning. You know it. I know it. He is about to know it. Oh no, desires plus one. But gift is gift. Yeah, and then we just win. So now, second replay. We are facing um, pseudo mirror because this is mechanical libromancer. They win the dice roll. We let them set up because are we not playing any hand trap? I mean, we are testing. In some games we do, in some games, games we don't. Because my theory right now is that mechanical engine is so good going second that we can just max on gift on mechanical good engine and call it a day and try to break boards and play board breakers like TTT that also helps going first and it's been working so far especially if the opponent um, underestimate us and I think I think this opponent is going to do that to each other like oh no interruption let's just combo 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 draw draw uh, yeah he keeps going keeps going mm, yeah so he has IP that could be Unicorn Appaloosa. A take, a non-negate, insane follow-up. Alright, that's that's not too hard to beat, you know? So we have crazy engine hand, like two searchers, all gear, it means that with this old search becomes insane, TTT, no fire dance. So how much do we, do we need to invest to beat this board? Three cards. All gear, mil, mikanko. Yeah, Synergy, Fire Warrior. Monster Reborn on the Mikanko. If he does nothing, this search the steal or the bounce to summon. So this is outing an opponent monster, he has to negate this. Um, yeah, so he full negates. Now we can TTT take. We do it. If we take a hit of him, then we can use the effect later on, and that's awesome. He, in this moment, use uh, Ohimet take. So he's afraid he's the last, last chance to do it. But guess what? This only works if you control Mikanko. So my opponent probably didn't know this interaction too well. But okay, you take my Ogier. Now I take your Ohim, you don't have Mikanko, I get back my Ogier. Pretty simple. <laughs> now we only have an IP. We threaten by the face. Do you wanna leave for one more turn? He said yes. And now, okay, you leave for one more turn, you have your follow-up. You think you have follow-up. But now we have um, full combo against no interruptions. And we have an insane combo. So we just keep going. Get Renault and put, put him down to sleep. Get the, get the Reborn, we didn't use it because he negated activation, we can use it again. Search our best. Make a Herald, because we know he has one right. Or oh, even if you have the Nib or something, now it doesn't matter. And this was like one, two, three, four, four, four summons. Because we, we took this, yeah, full combo through a possible nip. We search flint. When, when you use a robot to search flint and not something super crazy, it's because you are already winning. Yeah. We search ignite. <coughs> we summon dolphin. I mean, he could, I mean, we don't even need to summon dolphin. This is just because. Yeah. And now we use this. As you see, we are not making beyond or Pentamo from the extra deck. We are playing the minimum amount of Ignis engine. And I think it's correct. And in the deck profile, I'm, I'm not explaining why. So we search village and, that's, and this, at, at that point, he knows he's losing. Cause then we Mikanko use our own Rondo to take his level six. Cause so we have free Fleur here. Fleur um, pop this. Arabesque bounce this, summons uh, Nini. 
and then uh, yeah this is just too much then we can just summon the gear friend because this is not of his all this is of ignis ignite that's insane that's like five four interruptions against nothing because no spells now game two we thought we were going second line storm even me and guess what we're going first what can we do with this hand against anibiru so we have our desk you fit they break but we have preparation of rights which unbreaks the whole hand so this means ohime ohime is a one card starter not one card combo but it's a nice starter with this card line of storm because i think this is going to be dead forever even the might be live who knows um now we have to improvise not gonna be a strong end board, but it's better than nothing. So we summon the Fire Warrior, get a Surge. What are we going to revive of this? Well, this can mill anything. That's the trick. So it mill Nini, we summon back Nini. Now we can summon uh, Gilfried. And then that's it. Yeah. So I think it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I should have been in defense maybe. But at least we have a steel and a monster negate. True up, horrible hand. And on four summons, so he couldn't nip. Yeah, that's important. He used right away the freaking tempo. Should we give him the gate? No, because we we know he is on Libra Master uh, Mikanko. We know if he wanna use Brave Engine, we just steal the token and call it a day. We need to steal before we use Gifrit because we only have one equip. This can only steal when we have equip. So that's the order. Maybe he knows, maybe he doesn't know. We need to steal, then we can negate. In this particular instance. So, yeah, he's about to summon Gifrit Griffin. So we take the token. That's the only way to do it. Now, uh, he, we let him summon this. We let him summon this. He's using this to select the spell. We could give it negate that, but sometimes they, they already have the spell and then it doesn't have a second target, so... I rather right wait for, this, for the field, because the field is searching another monster and then the other monster using the effect, maybe there we can give it. I don't think they get in the field, it matters too much. Okay, they can trickle some, but it's not too important, in my opinion, in this game state. I rather bet on they already have in this on, on in hand. Yeah. Okay, they search agent. Now they use fire. Oh no, sorry. They keep searching. This tells me a lot about the hand. Like, first of all, I think they have need because when we end the turn, he waited a lot. And I'm pretty sure he was counting some to see if he could actually summon the need. Yeah. Uh, what else? We know the Benzen, we know this. The only known is the fire. So the second he uses, and uh, we know the entire, we guess the entire hand. Yeah. We should give it negated. Because now he can recover it, but he cannot use the effect again. So now here at this point, <laughs> I was afraid he had an access code, but I don't know. He didn't. He starts out in the board. Unicorn. End phase to get the token. So at this point, we could have um, Lightning Storm instead of Evenly and Storm out the monsters. Maybe that was better. I don't know if it matters too much. But he may. This is not doing anything because we only play one of the quick play spells to, to cheat the summon. And both sides, we didn't have a second Hare. Yeah, so. We had everything besides the token. I think yeah, maybe Evenly was better than Storm. But the token is not doing anything. Now we just search uh, and this is card. The game plan was if we top deck preparation, we have we have something. Because preparation search of Hime, let's recover Kagura, and then use this, cost one of Hime, summon the other one. And then pop for one. <laughs> yeah. If this card's worth if this card worth playing or not, uh on the deck profile I, I will tell you. So now he keeps going. Gilfried, top the Gilfried is insane. Yeah. Now we have two monster negates to win the grind game. Can we win with two monster negates? Yeah, I think we do. We attack. And. Yeah. We win. Third replay. Now we are facing um, Sprite. We go first, they have one imperm. We open weird, really. 
when you download some printout, special some printout is not it's not a good sign. Um, yeah, they start they decided to imperm is all the first effect. So we should just ignite signal right away. Search something that let us get this second result. Get the field because it is probably not, not useful right now. Now second is old. Get Hare. Hare is pretty much always live thanks to Blade. So now you can search Arbus. Now this can bounce and summon Benini, which is a nice interruption. Bounce is always sold. Usually you want to bounce something to hand to have value as follow up. But it's all because we needed to put as much interruptions as possible. And these guys let us put IP. So yeah. Oh yeah, just uh, something so you know. This is the game two. Yeah, I forgot to mention because game one was really stupid. We lost because he hand drops today and then one car combo us. Uh, not worth showing, but so you just know this is game two. We know they are, they are sprite. We know that if we take normal someone or maybe then a spin as another card, we are winning. Yeah, that's the game. So we ended on two interruptions, weird interruptions, but still good enough. Now he has another one card combo. At this point we are stealing and spinning because they cannot use starter to keep going. So this should be enough and it was. I mean, we didn't have OTK next turn, maybe with the top deck, he didn't want to waste time. And then game 3, we open evenly, and this is super bad if you had to open it, unless you have an Ohime also. So we let them full combo. Hmm. Gets the angler, because he has swap frog, and now he's going to do a insane combo. Yeah. That's so plus, 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 plus. It's told, starter. We just need to keep track of the interruptions or the unknown cards. So we know smashers. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we know these four interruptions. And we are assuming a hand trap. So, what should we do? Well, we open good, Ohime. Now, yeah, they summoned another monster. We want to use evenly um, to destroy everything, so we need to bait the Omni Negate. We use Ohim Ohim. He takes the bait and it's fine because he doesn't even he can't even set this. Now we can evenly. Oh ah, yeah, but first we need we need to try to, to draw. Because even if we evenly we don't have anything. So if he has an ash, right now he may let this go. But after we use evenly for sure they are ashing TTT. That was the reason. Yeah, so now we can again evenly. And now we have a real chance because they only have two interruptions against five cards. The problem with this, this is doing nothing. I wish this was something else. Anything else. Then we search for this, and this is also doing nothing because we already um, use effect. Like, we can only cause a gear free and summon it in the normal way, but that's not worth. So, yeah, we don't have a play. If this was anything else, maybe we could have easily win. So, after those. And more and, and other replays that I'm not gonna show. I decided that this was not so worth it. And now the last replay of the day against the tier zero deck. Hopefully the banlist does something soon, but right now it is what it is. So they have a happiness and three spoon, a standard full combo and two hand traps. That's how they usually open. But we open broken or here or not, but him does an insane combo. He opened, yeah, he mailed good. He's getting a trap. He's some kill colors, getting rid of this. This gets rid of the trap to get more follow up and to mill. I think here he he misplayed. Instead of getting more, more follow up, he should have tried to set a second fusion interruption. Maybe it was not doable, but I think it was worth um, trying. Because now. We have, I mean, yeah, that was impressive, but we can keep going. We use this to search this and this card, this. So why would we do that? Pretty simple, because now we don't need to use uh, ceremony to mill it. We already have it on in graveyard. That's good. And now instead of equipping it to 
our monster, we use it on the fusion monster and bounce him to summon our fire warrior. Insane. Breaking the board and building our board at the same time. So now we have the monster reborn and this is going to get us a spellcaster. Yeah, insane. Now we get a follow up or plus one. I have plus one because we milled this of all gear. It's plus one that we are going to use now. We summon Flint because we want to keep Harry on board. I don't remember why. We search scales. We summon all gear. Ah, yeah, we cannot use it again. Doesn't matter. This was like anything. I, I love when it's salt. Uh, second effect doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Now we search Ignis. We use the pendulums. Search Oliver, some of this, search village. Ah, so we kept Harry so we can make a herald. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why. And then these two guys into an IP. I wish we had a Linking Raker so we can make Savage. Most of the time we don't. And that's also interesting. Nowadays, this combo let us have it sold the entire time. And now, oh yeah, this was a horrible misplay. We forgot, I mean, how could we forgot to mill um, the spellcaster Nini before Herald? Because now with Herald, this is not working. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, so now, instead of ending on a free steal and no spells, we don't. It's so unfortunate. So right now, this is just three options. But hey, Herald is MVP, is FTK by itself. We just need to protect him. On how? With steal? Um, with the spin, should be enough. So even after our misplay, um, yeah, he is not out in the herald, therefore we are winning. Now game two. We open just imperm. What's the best moment to use imperm against two element? Usually on kit colors. So that that's what we are going to do. But they still do the entire shenanigans they know how to do. They set up the graveyard, the hand, the field. Everything. They make us meal a lot. Mm, yeah. They keep fusioning. They pop to use the effect. They keep keep fusioning, like not tomorrow. Now he tries to shuffle back. I don't think it matters. But sure, if you have duplicates, why not? And now, can we break this board? Of like one. Two, three, four, five, and then maybe even six interruptions because then this sends a monster and it's gonna trigger. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to know. So we, we search for this, we try to bounce. Mm. They go let us, okay, they search, they search for Venus, that seven interruption. They use this to pop. It's hard, it's hard to be done and two elements board. Yeah, they pop the Rendal, we get it back because they didn't pop it on the effect. So we use it again. We take... Ah, this is a cool interaction, just so you know. When we equip Rondo, it, do, it, it does nothing. The second we have a Mikan on board, it steals uh, without activating. So we just equip this, it could be a bluff. If they don't interact, they don't negate. Okay, normal summon a Mikan go. Give me the monster. Yeah. Now they try to use here and we call by some hey so far I think we we did the best we could so they don't have interruption beside the graveyard interruptions. Mm. Sorry my cat But we are not winning this game this game. We tried to break the board, I think we did a pretty good job. But we don't have follow-up. We didn't set up a board, they can follow up. Game three please. Now can you imagine how hard it's going to be to win game 3? Mm. What if they open a penis and... Oh! Oh, no hand drops. Oh. Handshake. <laughs> I mean, the second they see Ogre will not combo, they should... And they will... Scoop. Yeah, because that's just a combo. If they have something... Hey, if it was beating one hand drop, we, ha we had a him a follow-up, we had TTT beating hand drops. So that was it. Now, now it's time to finally see the deck. So I have two versions. I, I had like 10 versions. I was just comparing, ranking, ranking my versions. I'll update them, improve them, optimize them. So now we have two. 
first this version i call it 40 card <laughs> because the other one is more than 40 and this is how it looks like we have three of the good cards we want to open Ohimia as often as possible because it's insane um, yeah it let us at the very least special summon this from deck and trigger it to get a monster reborn mm. But in most scenarios, if we already have, have it sold, this means two extra interruptions. When we synchro summon, we usually invest two cards for one inter interruption, like oh, a Renaud and a Dolphin makes Herald. Okay, this is one card that lets us have two interruptions. It's so plus. Uh, yeah, because we could summon this and then Mini. And they both steal. Um, and going second, yeah, you search any of the mechanical equips that we want or how do we want to normal summon it? So six, mandatory. And then we're we're gonna discuss about the, the variants. So this is just one of my builds, alright? Then the Rogras, the Rogras, triple gear fit. Man, triple gear fit I think is a must no matter which variant are you playing, as long as it's mechanical with Renovo. Because we have so many equips. Um back in the day we used to have like seven Rogras, one all gear. Okay. Eight equips, I mean, eight ways to put an equipping graveyard before it's sold. Now we have six more in the form of Ohim Ohim. Going second, we could have Arabesque um, or, or Trigger Hare, and then no, they're just Arabesque. So, yeah, we have way more ways. So, give it is like way more now. So, it's a must, in my, in my opinion. Then, we not go there two or a three. I mean, the deck space is so tight. You see, I'm missing something, right? Something that I love, and it's called Connector. No space. Also, we have a decent amount of normal summons right now. Then, to our best, could be trip because it's so insane. But going first, it could hurt if you are not playing something like this or Bestial Magna Wood. That is also nice to bounce back. Then, um, all gear hard, yeah. You could play one. I was testing with one. I like two now because of grind game or follow up. Now the Mikanko engine, this is like the brick, because it is just summons from hand, but it's not as, not as bad. A monster reborn that also summons from hand, so that's cool, sometimes you unbrick yourself <coughs> by using this. This is uh, the only, uh, an equip interruption, but can, you can only equip it to a Mikanko, so it's really restrictive. Um, and that's, you don't control the tempo, the opponent does. So they can see this, they can read it. If they decide to special summon, knowing that we have this, then we bounce. But because the opponent knows and they can't control it, I don't like it too much. We just need another name. It could be DDR. So sometimes you miss that you cannot uh, summon Renault get DDR. But at the same time, you don't have enough warriors in Gravia to recover Phoenix Blade as much. You already minus one of Majesty, so I don't miss, it, miss, miss DDR. Uh, Rondo is the, yeah, the Snatch Steel. What else? What else? TTT, Impern. So, this, in this video, we are testing 6 non engine. Uh, I was testing a lot between 3, and, sorry, between 10 and 0 non engine. Yeah, you could have the entire deck with engine. And um, it still works, still, it still works. Because of if you open Gear Freeze, Ohime, Arvesk, that's already like 3 cards that bait Omni negates. So, we have much more power now. And then the, the Pendulum package. So, the minimum amount is 4. One Ignis, one Ignite, one Majesty, one Field. Yeah, and why are we doing this? What happened with Beyond? Short story, um, Beyond loses to Nip. It requires to play at least two of each and you don't have space. Uh, yeah, that's mainly it. That's why. Um, so now, and the one mini, yeah, insane. This combo is super good, like, well, what if you are facing tier? they don't use spells? Uh, they could have a hand of six monsters and you're still winning. Uh, like I already did sometimes. Because okay, you have this and this, but you also have Herald and then an IP. And then maybe a Sash or a Flutter. Or, yeah, whatever. So you're winning that matchup. Just because of Herald and this preventing stuff like that ruler or droplets. Anyway, um so that's the four card list. Side deck please always ignore it. Just remember that. I just have a great interaction with Arbesk because you summon them, bounce them back, start your engine, Kaiju again. Easy. Call it a day. Now the extra deck. So you could have more synchros if you want. I am almost never doing Roland these days. Or Charles. Or even Savage. So yeah. You could try another things if you want. 
um, but usually also I haven't done Baguska in theory we could and we should in some flat gate scenarios like if the opponent shifts their ass they could be in Flander we could just summon Ignis Ignite pop them sorry not summon scale them pop them summon a free majesty search like an ogre normal summon ogre make Baguska same logic for Dweller uh, but we are not doing them almost anyway eh, almost no, um, never. This is cool, cool patch. Could be Virus Cold Breaker Link 2 because it outs Baguska. Uh, because Ohime takes anything when we go second. So if this takes the opponent monster, we use them to make a warrior. And then access is out. And then the rest is pretty standard. Yeah, so that's the 40 card list. Now, my current version, the one that I'm testing today, and I like it more, I don't think it's necessarily better, is the 50 card version. Pretty similar, we just add more non-engine and connector engine and we just add the third harvest and the one Oliver. I think one Oliver puts a lot of work because we are opening or giving out a lot of times and when we utilize Gearfit and Renault, the, the last Ignite Ignis pop search has to be Oliver. So we enable um, Herald. We really need to access Herald. So this and how it makes Herald, so that comes up. Also, going second, you can use the technique of you equip this to an opponent monster. Oh, but not, nothing happens if you don't have a mechanical, you don't steal. Oliver effect costs this. Now, this says when this card leaves the field, send the equip monster to the graveyard, even if you don't control it. And it doesn't activate, it just happens. That's a cool interaction. I think it also happens with Gifrit. But Gifrit banish Rondo, Rondo leaves the field, out on a monster. Oh, in this main deck, we are testing Hira. I think Hira is an MVP if Mikanko variants become uh, more popular. I think the Libre Master is the more, most popular. So yeah, if that becomes a thing. Hira, take Hari. Equip something to Hari. Then any two monsters become Hari. Hari use the effect, gets Arabesque. Arabesque bounce on opponent monsters, summon your own Hari. And then you have free salt. That's why in theory Hira is cool. Haven't done that combo yet, but I know it will come up. I think the only moment where I make Savage is when I know the, the, the matchup and I know instead of going to IP, I need to use those two monsters and Isolde to make a Pelusa. And then we can make Savage with, with Isolde in Graveyard. So, with that being said, uh, the theories. There's another variant where you use Dawn Knight to get Divine of the Herald. I mean, at first everybody was playing Divine of the Herald um, because it was a tuner and Hulk and whatnot. We, you can still do it, summon this. This I need sold in 12. Uh, this means this. Elf revive it. Go on. Then you can make a braver equipped Endal. I think you can end on 3 interruptions, sir. 40 if we get the, the new equip, but we are not getting the new mechanical equip until May, I think. Then what else can you change about the deck? Yeah, you could add Beyond and then you could play the 4 cards. I mean, instead of 2. Because you need at least 2 of each. Then. Um, Kagura, uh, we are putting the level 6 because you can search it of his old and if you don't get this combo at least it's one card fodder for Kagura but right now I don't like it I was testing to main deck then to side deck uh, to side deck it against backroot decks but it's just too much setup you need to already make his old so you have enough equipped in graveyard to be a blowout so if you already resolve his old second effect I think that, that, at that moment is too late like you should probably already spend the resource to activate Kagura. I mean, to search Kagura, to have the Ohime to summon in hand, to have the level 6 uh, or more to, to cost. Yeah, that's too much. So, yeah, maybe it's better for a pure version. And then again, you can always search another field play, field, field play of Majesty. I just don't feel like needing Necro Valley. I think I'm winning every tier matchup if I set up. Uh, maybe you get hand up to death. <coughs> But if you, if you do, then you are probably not getting to Majesty anyways because we are not playing a lot of uh, Pendulum Engine So that's my take um, Then for the Divine variant, you need to play a second Herald You need to play Antis, so Elf becomes an interruption And for the Beyond the Pendulum Engine, you also need to play this because it's a free follow-up Right now the deck is lacking a little bit of follow-up because I'm never making Roland <coughs> I mean, I could, it just like one less interruption and I don't like it. 
I think we are winning every time. The only way that they break our board is with a Speed of Raul or Lava Golem. But that's why I'm liking the 50 card variant, where we can summon this of his soul, save it until the end, and hit a Lava Golem, or a Tear Lemon Monster when we already have a Gear Free to Negate or an Apollos to Negate. The Great Effect. So, yeah. That is it. Let me know any questions. Um, sorry if I didn't go in depth on the cards, uh, on the new cards, because you can search that in other videos. I'm just showing you the good, <laughs> the the synergy, the interactions, <coughs> and what I have found to be more useful about um, how we can quit scalping Inferno. <laughs> yeah, they, they help each other around. Um, yeah, hope you like this variant, this combo, this deck. Please test it um, now. I don't think this is the final build. Uh, I think it depends on a ban list that could happen soon. Also, um, on how do we feel this extra deck flex boss? I really flex in my opinion. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Okay, see you in the next video. Goodbye.